In the previous lesson, you learned how to quickly batch map individual designs to keyboard characters using the Keyboard Design Collection tool in the Design Library. When all the designs are in one design file, we'll need to map each one individually, and we'll need to do that one from the Embroidery Workspace. So in the Design Library, go to the Keyboard Design Collection folder and open up the cross-stitch file. Notice that this is not an EMB grade A or grade B. Now the name of this file, cross-stitch 10 SPI. The 10 SPI is a hand cross-stitch term that simply means there are 10 X's per inch. So these little X's are pretty small. This design was created using the cross-stitch gem. If I go to the Sequence Stalker, click on the Objects tab, we can see that each letter is composed of just stitches. If I turn off True View, I'll press T on the keyboard, you can see where these connectors are. So these are not going to be closest join like we get with most of our Hatch Embroidery fonts. We're going to have long connectors that go from one letter to the next letter. I'll turn True View back on. I'm going to close a couple dockers here. And I'll open the Keyboard Design Collection docker. Here you can see the Doodle font that we created in the last lesson. So the next step is to create a new collection. But before we do that, we need to determine the reference height for our set. We can select a letter, and we can either use the height up here, or we can just use the letter. I like to use the letter. And I'll click New, and it's using the name of the file. That's fine. The reference height, I'll use Selection. Notice that now it puts that letter in that image. 10% is good. And the recommended height range here. Now, these are manual stitches only, but they're just straight. What we have to be careful of here is getting those stitches too short. Now remember, this is not a grade A file. This is actually a grade D. And it's a grade D because I have my embroidery settings up here on Software Settings, set to Open Machine Files as Stitches Only. That way it won't try to recognize these as objects, because this is a special stitch type, and we don't want to try to convert these into objects. Now when we're working with a grade C or a D file, we need to think about scalability, and the recommendation for machine files is only plus or minus 10%. So if we go plus or minus 10% on this, that would be 3.8 millimeters, and we'll just round that off to 4. So I'll say 34 millimeters to 42 millimeters. And it would have been smart if I had gone in there and measured one of those little stitches, because they're pretty short. Be sure to check your settings before you click OK, because these numbers cannot be changed, the reference height, the spacing, or the recommended height range. The name can be changed. Remember, this is not a restriction. This is a recommendation. We can still make them smaller. We can still make them larger. I'll click OK. Now this is an uppercase only set, so you might want to pick uppercase only so that it's easier to see just the letters. And the way we do this is we select a cell, we select the character, and I'll click Map. Cell, Letter, and you can see that it says B there, and Map. And you'll get a nice rhythm going here. And our cross-stitch letters are mapped. Because all of these letters sit on the same baseline, we don't have to do anything with Adjust Baseline. We might think about adjusting the spacing but we really won't know that until we start working with the font. And really, you can adjust the letter spacing the same way we do with normal Hatch fonts. We can reshape, and we can use the tools on the lettering docker. Now when I look at my list, I can see that I've added three fonts. This is one of my own personal fonts, and these are the two that come with Hatch that you can use. Now, this one's already been mapped for you, so it's already set as an included KDC set. If I go to this design, go to Object Properties, on the lettering docker, I can see now I have these extra fonts in here. 
The KDC list will only show the ones that you've added. These are stored in a separate location from the Hatch Included fonts. You can't modify the Hatch Included fonts, whether they're KDC or regular ESA embroidery fonts. To see where they're saved on your computer, you'll go to Program Data, Wilcom, Hatch Embroidery, and your Fonts folder. And here are my three KDC sets. In the next lesson, we'll talk about Adjust Baseline and Spacing.